the majority of cognitive ability tests combine questions of different formats in order to produce a more accurate appraisal of the candidate's cognitive aptitude. In addition, in order to provide a more informative report to the employer, the test creators usually divide questions into several categories. The most common categories are numerical ability, verbal ability, logical ability, problem solving, and abstract thinking. These categories help the employer match candidates with higher scores in specific categories to positions that fit their skills. The Criteria Cognitive Aptitude Test is no exception. The creators of the CCAT divided the test's 50 questions into three subcategories. The first is Math and Logic. This is not an assessment of your basic math skills, but a test of your ability to quickly work with numerical and logical information presented to you, in order to find a solution for a problem. However, the test does rely on your good command of basic math and pre-algebra. Second category is verbal reasoning. This is not an assessment of your reading and writing proficiency, but a test of your vocabulary level, which reflects on general scholastic level and your ability to find your way with words. The third category is spatial reasoning. These questions assess your ability to reason using abstract shapes and figures and arrive at conclusions based on just a few examples. That's called inductive reasoning. You will need to assess the shape and structure of the figures, perhaps perform a mental rotation of shapes and find the missing element based on your appraisal. The following units delve deeper into each of these categories and provide introductory sample questions and some solving tips. However, here at iPrep, we believe in learning through practice. Therefore, the most relevant solving methods and time-saving tips appear throughout the course within the detailed solutions. Good luck!